Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. I just did a Blitz warm up and I discovered a, a new mode in Blitz. It's five plus five and what a difference that five second increment makes. My rating, just playing a little bit last night and my warm up today, I'm up to like 870. <laughs> it's a big improvement. I don't know, I might go back to five minutes because it really makes the games longer. So guys, this could be the London system. Let's keep our options open and just mirror for now. Probably is the London. It's not, it's the Tory. All right, all right, interesting. So I don't have any prep for the Tory. I have a, I have a game plan these days for playing against the London. For the Tory, not so much. This is such a rare opening, guys. It's it's hardly worth studying, you know? Let's see. If I try to kick away the bishop... He's just going to back up, presumably. Um, Let's... Oh, do I want to get my bishop outside of the pawn chain? I kind of do. Let's, let's do kind of a, a mirror London system here. We're going to bring our bishop out make our pawn pyramid. Now the difference is the pawn pyramid is on the light squares. When you do your London, your pawn pyramid, it's a total mirror image, but it's on the dark squares. So everything is different. And I'm, I'm not totally sure yet how much London theory translates over into this mirror London, but you know, maybe we'll see some stuff. I think I also used to play this against the Queen's Gambit, right? So you start your pawn pyramid like that, and then you bring your bishop out, complete your pawn pyramid, and you kind of have the mirror London. But since I switched to the Slav defense, I really don't have much practice with this. Whoa. Okay, well, like I said, we're gonna, this is a combination now. This is like the Slav defense too. This is crazy. Oh, do you know what? Technically, I should not have played that move. If I'm, if I'm following London theory, I should have played E6 because if he takes, I want to take with my E pawn and keep this diagonal closed. That's kind of an important thing in the London. Because of this check. We can give a check right now if we want. But I don't think it accomplishes anything. Unless... Nope, never mind. The bishop is guarded by the knight. I was going to say, unless there's some trick here. Imagine if we give the check. Like if we remove this. Get rid of that knight. And then give the check. That would be beautiful. But guys... As long as that knight's there, it's not going to work. So check that out. This is a cool way that I've been practicing to see tactics. So we almost have this fork. How do we make it happen? Well, we have to clear this rank. So I can take the pawn. He'll recapture 99%, likely. I can take the knight. He'll recapture. Then I give the check and win the bishop. But how do we get rid of that knight? Also interesting to note, I can just jump here. I'm not pinned. That hits the bishop and puts my knight on a nice square. That actually makes a lot of sense. Let's do that. Whoa, I just saw my screen flicker. It was like a little line appearing through the screen. I'm, hmm, I wonder if that appeared on video. It's probably in my display not the window, so probably was not captured. That was weird. I'm guessing he's going to drop his bishop this way. Okay, so guys, do you remember what our plan was? Now it's suddenly going to work, because look at this. When he recaptures, what are we going to do? We're going to grab a pawn. We're going to grab a knight. 
we're gonna give the check. Let's see if it let's see if it happens. So let's grab that guy. Of course, we can also just push a pawn forward with a discovered attack on the knight. That might be better because it opens up our bishop and and gets us closer to castling. Because if I take this pawn, there's no guarantee. Oh, wait a minute. If I take the pawn now, he has an attack. <sighs> Guys, should we risk it? Grab the knight. He has to recapture. I mean, that's basically forced. But when I grab that pawn, he could just castle. And then the game is over. I've, I've moved a center pawn. Yeah, you know what? Forget it. We're just going to... Wait. Let's think about this. Guys, here's another idea. What about just take the knight, recapture, check. The only way to block the check is with the queen. And if, if we trade queens, then he loses castling rights. Holy smokes. This is crazy. This can't be good for my opponent. Let's see. If I go here, it's unlikely that he castles because that loses the knight. So I go here, he drops back. I can attack the knight again. And where can he jump? He has to go backwards again. Oh no, he could go here. Whoops, sorry. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. He could jump here. Guys, I don't know why those arrows weren't erasing. Um, if I push the pawn, he jumps back. I push the pawn again. He's going to jump here, which is a nice little outpost. That doesn't gain me anything. In fact, yeah, the whole thing is kind of awful. Grab. Take. He might see this. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I don't think it's going to be bad. I don't think. So he might see the... He's like, ooh, yes. Okay, guys, moment of truth. Does this plan work? Check. It works. Now... I don't know if it should have worked. I really don't know. But it looks like it works. Because he has, he has to either move the king, push a pawn, or, or use the queen to block. He's got, he's got three ways of blocking. Or, sorry, three ways of getting out of check. Of course, we do pick up the knight. Now we're threatening a pawn. Ooh. That was unexpected. I'm just gonna go right here. Offer a queen trade. If we can trade queens right now, yeah, I, I didn't think he would actually want to do that. All right, let's just... Is there any problem here? This is a little uncomfortable. I could force away his bishop He's also not castled, guys. So there's not an immediate need. I need to move this guy. I need to move this guy. Yeah, let's just get ready to castle. In fact, I'm going to put my bishop here. We're going to go ultra defensive. Just keep everything... Keep everything secure. All right. Oh yeah, I just <laughs> I almost I almost went to the traditional London square. Then I remembered, oh yeah, we're consolidating. Let's just keep everything defended. All 
I mean, that is a free pawn, but no thanks. That's way too scary. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. All right, now, huh? We're attacking this pawn. Or do I just go right here? Man, maybe I should have put my bishop somewhere else and I could have dropped back. Well, but then I would have been forked. Okay, so if I go here, he's probably not gonna attack me. He has to defend this pawn. All right, yeah, let's, let's attack the pawn. It also puts pressure on the bishop because the bishop is undefended. Well, sorry, no, the queen's defending. Never mind. I was thinking I could go here and, and sack the knight, but that does not work. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I need to put a pawn right here. And if on passant, then I can take with the queen. But otherwise, I now have this square. Oh, shoot, but that doesn't let me escape. Oh, I can take this pawn. Never mind. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, that was a huge blunder. I, complete, I completely missed that. Holy smokes. Oh no. Oh man, I'm letting my opponent back into the game, guys. Not good. Now, we're hitting a pawn. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow, I have really messed up. All right, let's, my knight is useless. I can't, guys, I think I'm getting beaten. Is that possible? All right, let's attack. What a disaster. I mean, this is really ridiculous. I can't believe I, I missed that. Give up a pawn with check, destroy my pawn structure. And it didn't even help my queen, like I thought. I was like, well, I can't go here anyway. That was so bad. Whew. So we came up with one good plan in this, in this game, and then we also came up with some bad plans. Guys, look at this. He retreats. Oh, my God. This is insane. Okay, well, that was not good, because now, guess what? Pawn is defended. Kick out the queen. She cannot go here. She cannot maintain defense. Can go here. Ooh. No, because... Yeah. Yeah, attack the queen. That was a huge blunder. Whoa. Um... I mean, that's just a free rook. Uh, not a free rook, but you know, it's kind of a free rook, right? Am I crazy here? Take the rook, pawn has to capture. Then we grab the queen. Makes sense to me. Now we get our knight out. Uh, there's a free pawn here, which maybe we should grab. All right, we get a resignation. I'm all right cool yeah once the queens are off the board it's hard to put together a bunch of stuff now the one good thing my opponent had going for him is that pawn he had a pass pawn which I would have had to deal with 
Holy smokes, what a cool game. All right, guys, let's check out and see if our tactic worked or if my opponent just messed up. So first of all, this is not a good move. I should have attacked the bishop right away. Interesting. Still. And finally we do it, and now it's also not a great move. <laughs> Jeez. Computer is harsh. Okay, so this was not a good move. We're losing here, but that was a mistake. So what should my opponent have done? He should have ignored the pawn and guarded his knight. Okay, fair enough. And then I just give up. I gave up a bishop for a knight, so that was not great. Okay, here we're completely winning. Again, I'm not playing very accurate moves. It's kind of crazy. Look at this. So yeah, the problem here is it cuts off my queen's escape. I didn't even think of that. I should have prevent. Oh, that's a hard move to find. I don't really understand that. Should have taken the free pawn when I had the chance. I think I commented, but this is just so scary. I have to go here. Queen C3. Oh my gosh. Now that, yeah, that's a little scary. That feels like a greedy pawn grab. Because uh, I don't see any clear follow-up except that my queen... Is, looks like she's getting stuck and is going to get harassed. So that's why I didn't grab that pawn. I should have gone here. Yeah, you know, that's where I kind of ended up going, isn't it? This was just a blunder. It's calling it a miss. But that was really a blunder. Finally, I get back here. And we find another beautiful plan. So my opponent lost another piece, basically. Because here, you can see the queen cannot stay on this diagonal to guard the bishop. So the queen has to go somewhere. Computer says queen c2. And we pick up a free piece. Beautiful. But this was a clever move. This was very clever. Because it led to the queen sacrifice. Oh, come on. Now, that's not brilliant. This is a very common pattern when your opponent tries danger levels first of all this isn't danger levels because it's equal it's equal threat but the difference is i'm gonna lose a pawn on recapture and you're gonna lose a rook on recapture so i, th I like this method because it also opens up the king but yeah i mean completely winning here the only tricky thing is this pawn it's su it's supported by a bishop and I've got to put a rook here or do something quick. That's interesting. The computer does not want to blockade. The computer wants rook d8, which I don't get. That is bizarre. Rook e8, is that a big is that a big error? No. 7.18 and these moves are 7. Eight. So it's pretty close. It's still completely winning. Not a blunder. This is weird. So what happens now? Oh my gosh. I forgot about my bishop. Yeah, so I can blockade with my bishop anytime. And since he has a light square bishop, he can never really dislodge me. <laughs> Except with a rook or something. And obviously, I'm not going to allow that. All right, guys. Cool. Well, that was a fun game. That was a fun game. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye.